Hello friends, welcome to Vivid Chemi YouTube channel. This is Vidyashri. In this video, I will be discussing about exponents. Questions related to exponents is asked in all type of competitive examinations. So here in this video, I will tell you what is exponents and how you can solve the problems related to exponents. Exponents can also be called as powers or indices. So all these terms exponent, power or index mean the same. Say if you want to represent multiplication of 2 5 times, you can write it as 2 power 5. So here the number 2 is called as base and 5 is called as power or exponent or it is called index and it is read as 2 power 5. See in general a power m can be written like this where m is the exponent or power or index. A is the base and it is called as a power m. In order to solve any problems related to exponents, we need to know the laws of indices. So now we will see what are the laws that are there related to these exponents. a power m into a power n can be written as a power m plus n. Say for example, if you have 5 to the power 2 multiplied by 5 power 3. So here the base is same, it is 5. So then you can add the powers. So it will be 5 to the power 2 plus 3, which is 5 to the power 5. And hence you can evaluate. Second, a power m divided by a power n can be written as a power m minus n. Third, a to the power m power n can be written as a power m multiplied by n. Fourth, if the powers are same, mean to tell a b power m can be written as a power m multiplied by b power m. Fifth, a divided by b to the power m can be written as a power m divided by b power m. a power minus 1 can be written as 1 by a power 1 or any power say a to the power minus m can be written as 1 by a power m and you should remember that any number rise to 0 a power 0 is always is equal to 1. In order to solve the problems related to exponents, you have to remember all these laws. Okay, and the first thing you need to remember is when the bases are same and the exponents are multiplied, then you can add the exponents. a power m into a power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. a power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. a power m power n can be written as a power mn. ab power m can be written as a power m into b power m. a by b the power m can be written as a power m divided by b power m. a rise to minus m is written as 1 by a power m. 
a power 0 is always equal to 1. Now we will see how numericals related to the exponents can be solved using these laws. The first problem, simplify 36 power 1 by 6. Option A, 1. Option B, 6. Option C, root 6. Option D, cube root of 6. Here it is asked to simplify 36 rise to 1 by 6. We know 36 is 6 squared, so I'll write 36 as 6 squared. It is rise to 1 by 6. We know the rule a power m power n can be written as a power mn. So we can write this as 6 power 2 into 1 by 6. So here you can simplify. So it is 6 power 1 by 3. And this we can write it as cube root of 6. So therefore the right answer is option D cube root 6. So how did I write this step? a to the power 1 by m can be written as m root a. So this is used to simplify this. Next question. Simplify 1 by 2 power minus 2, 1 by 3 minus 2 plus 1 by 4 power minus 2. So 1 by 2 power minus 2 can be written as 2 to the power 2 because we have studied the law a to the power minus m can be written as 1 by a power m. So here 1 by 2 the power minus 2 is nothing but this is equal to 1 power minus 2 divided by 2 power minus 2. So this is based on the rule a by b power m which can be written as a power m divided by b power m that we have applied here. 1 raised to minus 2 is 1 itself and this will be 2 power minus 2. So when you take this 2 power minus 2 to the numerator that will become 2 power 2. So the same way this 1 by 3 power minus 2 can be written as 3 square and plus 4 square. So 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16 and 4 plus 9 plus 16 that adds up to give 29. So 29 is the answer. Next question. 212 power 0 0.5 into 848 power 0 0.5. We have to simplify this. Option A 96, option B 212, option C 424, option D none of this. We have studied the law a power m into b power m can be written as a b power m. So here we have the exponents same. So I can write this as 212 into 848 power 0 0.5. It's 212 multiplied by this 848 you can write into 2 times 424 and the power 0 0.5. 2 into 212 is nothing but 424 into 424 power 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is nothing but half. So the same can be written as 424 into 424 rise to half. So this simplifies to give 424. And therefore the right answer is option C 424. How did we do that? So here we have 424 twice, so which is rise to the power half. So this 2 and 2 get cancelled. We are left with 424. Next question, 256 power 0 0.16 into 256 power 0 0.09. Option A, 256. Option B, 25. Option C, 4. Option D, 16. Here, Bases are same, so we can add the exponents. So when we have a power m into a power n can be written as a power m plus n. In order to solve any problems related to exponents, you have to keep in mind that 
either you have to make the basis equal or you have to make the power or the exponents equal so then you can easily solve any problem related to exponent so here applying this particular law the given problem can be simplified to give 256 power 0.16 plus 0 0.09 so it is 256 the power 0 0.25 now 256 can be simplified and it can be written as 4 power 4 to the power 0 0.25 0 0.25 is nothing but that is equal to 1 by 4 so we can write that 4 raised to 4 power 1 by 4 so this we can simplify as 4 into 1 by 4 by using the law that a power m power n is nothing but a power mn so this 4 and 4 get cancelled and we are left out with 4 so therefore the right answer for this particular question is option c 4 next question Find the value of 7 into 64 power 1 by 3 plus 27 power 1 by 3 raised to 3. It's power 1 by 4. Option A5, option B6, option C7, option D, none of this. So you need to find the value of 7 into 64 raised to 1 by 3 plus 27 raised to 1 by 3. This raised to 3 and 4 raised to 1 by 4. 64 power 1 by 3 is nothing but it is cube root of 64 and that is equal to 4. 27 raised to 1 by 3 means 27 power 1 by 3 is cube root of 27 which is equal to 3. We will substitute it here. So 7 into 64 power 1 by 3 is 4. 27 power 1 by 3 is 3. So it's power 3 to the power 1 by 4. So 7 into 4 plus 3 is 7 cube power 1 by 4. So we have studied the rule a power m into a power n can be written as a power m plus n. So 7 into 7 cube can be written as 7 for 4. It's power 1 by 4. So this can be written as 7 4 into 1 by 4 so the answer is 7 therefore the correct answer is option c 7 next question if 3 power 3x plus 5 is equal to 9x then the value of x square is in the question it's told that 3 power 3x plus 5 is equal to 9x so I told you already, in order to solve any problems related to exponents, either the base should be equal or the exponents should be equal. So now here, this 9 can be written as 3 square the power x. So 3 power 3x plus 5, that becomes equal to 3 power 2x. Now the basis has become equal. That means we can equate the powers. When bases are equal, we can equate the powers. So, therefore, I can write 3x plus 5 is equal to 2x. So, 3x minus 2x equals minus 5. x is equal to minus 5. What it is asked for us to find the value of x square. So, x square is minus 5 square. So, it is minus 5 into minus 5 comes out to be 25. So, therefore, the value of x square is 25. Next question. If 3 power x equal to 2 power y equal to 6 power minus z, then what is the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z? We will consider 3 power x equal to 2 power y equal to 6 power minus z equal to k. We will consider this is equal to a value k. So then I can write 3 power x is equal to k which means that 3 is equal to k power 1 by x. So in the same way 2 power y is equal to k and I can write 2 is equal to k power 1 by y. 
6 power minus z is equal to k. I can write 6 is equal to k power minus 1 by z. So considering all this I can write 6 is nothing but its product of 3 and 2. 6 is equal to 3 into 2 I can write. Where 6 is k power minus 1 by z. 3 is k power 1 by x and 2 is k power 1 by y. So here bases are same. I can add the powers. So k power 1 by x plus 1 by y. And that is equal to k power minus 1 by z. So bases are same on the either side. Means we can equate the powers. Minus 1 by z is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by y. So we can rearrange this as to write 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z which is equal to 0. So it is asked to find out what is the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z and that is equal to 0. Here you have takeaway questions. If m is equal to minus 2 and n is equal to 2 then what is the value of m power n plus n power m. Find 4 power 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 power 4. Solve these questions and give your answers in the comment section below this video. Always remember that whenever you solve problems related to exponents, either you should make their base equal or you should try to make the exponents equal. So this you have to keep in mind and if you apply this concept you can solve any numerical related to exponents very easily. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the content provided are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos.